ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike training session voiceover with the specialist of guests. Hi, I'm currently, how fucking fat am I right now where I'm eating a donut while I'm doing this narration? They didn't need to know that. Even, dude, they can't true, see though. it. It's, it's a voiceover. Sandy, what type of donuts are we eating here? Glory Hole. Glory Hole donuts. Uh, it's true. Like, you want to talk about being real <laughs> and raw. We are not talking about eating lettuce. We're eating fucking donuts. We're both trying to be uh, strong. Donuts. Well, you're yeah. trying to be strong and lean, but yeah. you are bulking. I'm trying to be strong and lean and skinny, and both of us are failing because we ate uh, a dozen donuts between the three of us today. Just let me fucking tone. Dude, you're rocking those three plates. So uh, talk me through this training session. What's going on here? So lately, uh, I've been doing powerlifting and weightlifting on the same day. What are you pointing at? What do you like? Salt, sweat, uh, top on. Uh, it's, an yeah, yeah. it's an old hat. It's an old hat, all right? All right, so you're doing both. So four plates, okay. So, weightlifting. So uh, the weightlifting session happened first, uh, which is actually going to be at the end of the video. But then afternoon, I hit some squats. Uh, doesn't feel awesome training Dude, twice in a day. You killed it uh, beltless uh, training with me and basically the same way. It felt pretty good. Yeah, oh. but because it was one session in, uh, in a day. We're actually sharing a bar, aren't we? How cute. World's strongest girlfriend. Shout out to Sandino Marie, the Bambino. She's going to be delving four plates coming up soon. Yeah, best pull, I think, is 375. And no, that was like a year ago. So that's 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 already in the bank. Um so training both sessions on one day sucks. So what I'm going to try to do is alternate now. So Monday weightlifting, Tuesday powerlifting, Wednesday weightlifting, Thursday powerlifting, uh, and uh, see if I die. Actually, I think it's 315 for one here. Oh, like you I do told the front you. squat. Yeah. yeah. As, My as PR. soon as you get uh, basically the grip and the position yeah, down so in the bad. front squat, like that thoracic mobility, uh, wrist mobility, shoulder mobility, all those things, you're going to blow up your front squat. Like you're... You're a 455 front squatter, no problem. Yeah, I think lifetime, if I could front squat 500, would be pretty I, sick. And I think you absolutely can. Because actually, on your actual squat, yeah. um, I wouldn't quite call it high bar, but it's like it's, it's basically there. a high bar uh, position. It's it's a lot less low bar yeah, than what people there. would think for a 600-pound squatter. So I think it transfers a lot Look more. at this artsy shot. Good job, Connor. Is, it, is that Connor? He's like focusing on this and that and making Sandy fuzzy and then Rogue Fitness and then Barber Brigade and Give Reebok. Give him a He's race, just, bro. I pay, I pay my guy in Diet Coke. What do you pay him for? Oh, uh, high fives. Oh, <laughs> high fives and words of encouragement. Good job, little buddy. You're doing great. Everybody awesome. give it a thumbs up for uh, Connor and his wonderful edits. Yeah, Look, it hurts so bad. I actually, I got to give you credit for real on this channel. I've been here basically since the inception, like 2015. Right? You, like no, that. you were, uh, I was on your channel probably a year before I even had a channel. No, no but I mean, your yeah, yeah, channel, yeah. I, I uh, yeah, give yeah. major respect because yeah. uh, Connor's editing and just your hustle and everything. I think your channel has only gotten better and better. Man. Appreciate like, it. A, a good combination of your lifting, uh, some tips kind of being real and then vlog style yeah you know unleashing your creative side here it is now this this would be funny if you just fucking over it oh i did do two head. maybe i only matched it oh, you i should have done that. three the other day that, if i did three easy. i quit um, and that looked easy and you could have put a belt on i think that day uh it felt easier because i mobilized in the morning more yeah um that's what people don't understand like some people are, are giving you shit and this is gonna yeah. be the omar defense mic session yeah because i'm eating it yeah you so haters I feel, so I feel really good about myself <laughs> Is that uh, like weightlifting mobility for me now doing it for a while because you were a far more advanced powerlifter than myself. Like you lifted longer, you were stronger, simply put. Is that you get in those tight positions yeah. from bench pressing, you know, 405, bench pressing thousands of reps. That it becomes hard for a guy like you just to develop then that mobility at such a late state. So my point being, when you have that meteoric rise in weightlifting, when you snatch, you know, 120, 130 kilos, like 270, 280 pounds, when you clean and jerk 330 pounds, it's going to be all the more glorious. Yeah. Because I, I know there's always people, I think actually a lot of the powerlifters are supportive where they're like, oh, that's cool, Mike. Or like, you know, you're training at Alan Thrall's gym, Alan's cool as shit. But then some people, I, I saw some of the comments like, oh, Mike, your elbow, and like it's still bent. I'm like, yeah, his, his whole upper body's jacked up. He's yeah. working on it. It was like, wait. Uh, even today or two a couple days ago, I did some push press with you and I was like, oh, this is my second time push pressing. And all the comments like, oh, that sucks. I was like, I know it sucks. <laughs> yeah. Like, have I'm you done gonna... anything two times and been fucking awesome at <laughs> yeah, it? Like, I've never done that. I'm what not you, putting your life on the line. Yeah. But I, I think also uh, some people, they just see the end, uh, uh, you know product of the video so they'll see like you release four or five videos yeah, a week, yeah and it's like you're in the gym a hell of a long time like you're in the gym probably what five six times a week yeah minimum two hours three hours all these goals at once so you're trying to uh lean down keep your muscle mass keep your strength or maybe even increase a little bit is that connor that's connor mr 225 himself get it in did he throw on a footage of himself in yeah him? yeah i told him he's getting after it i think uh, i'm gonna make him compete with me uh, he good. wants to compete but uh when are you thinking of competing i think we're in december i think we're in december january we'll get a powerlifting meet in um sandy seems and then cruise so back uninterested again. in a set like just not support yeah she lifts off and then turns around look at her yeah, in the she, background she, she lifts care. she lifts 
has a great time and then just ignores everyone yeah, else. Yeah, she doesn't really care much about me or Kyle. Not a team player. No, I, Mike, I see that. Yeah. I don't want to mention anything. See what we're dealing Let's with Let's see what daily. his liftoff looks like. Uh, he's a good liftoff. Uh, good I, lift I, I can do that, like a 7 or 8. He yeah. glides it over. Yeah, he's good. You were talking actually about that hidden fact for those that are ultra powerlifting uh, hipsters and want to know. Well, you're talking about how some potential liftoffs can really assist. Where you kind of lift it off extra soft, so yeah. almost like you're helping them descend into it. Just talk me through that. Oh, yeah, second. the soft liftoff. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, it's a real thing. It kind of is. Uh, <laughs> we got uh, Leanna Carr and Mr. Alberto Nunez in the house. Just walked in the house. They just went to the beach. <laughs> yeah, they're beaching it in, in the rain. Uh, yeah, the liftoff is an art, and I like to think I'm the best liftoff guy on the planet. So you want to uh, take enough weight off that they are not in a compromised position because their elbows are cut or their elbows their are not, and their shoulders not contracted. Right, but you don't want to lift too much because then it feels heavy when they when they grab it. So you want to just, like you said, glide is kind of a good word. Glide over the hooks, nice easy handoff. Let them uh, let their lats get involved uh, on the lock. Or excuse me, on the holdout, and then now we're on to weightlifting. Oh, so, okay, so that was some parallel thing. I saw Connor was lifting with his cock on the last few reps. I saw that. The cock press. L- a little bit of cock press. So uh, this is going to be a jerk, power jerk. What are we doing here? Push I press. Front, uh, front squat? I might be wrong. Let's see. So Ben uh, often, I think he says he does it for all his athletes. Front, what, front, front squat, front squat, jerk? Or? No, but what he'll do is he'll do a prep movement for each lifter in their lift. And oh, okay. obviously since my rack is the major issue yeah. and my mobility is we'll do a prep exercise that gets me ready for that. So I'll just front squat, get my rack better, and then we'll go to a clean uh, so that rack is already kind of set up and I can just focus on the clean itself. This dude's jacked. What uh, weight class? Is he 85 or uh, 94? Uh, he's 94, yeah. but uh, Ben's been all the way up to 280. So he was a super heavy. That's insane. Um, and then now he's a 94. And I haven't actually uh, got a chance to talk about Ben because most of our weightlifting um, videos are kind of raw and yeah, coaching. You, like, uh, getting coached. Yeah, but Ben's an absolute stud. I've known him for about five or six years from the old, old super training days. Um, similar path to mine where he's kind of a coach first, athlete second. Yeah. And still, I believe he came in top 10 uh, at nationals this year in the U.S. Yeah, uh, really so, uh, you know, he cleans well over 400 pounds, snatches, you know, three something. Uh, and he's got 20 inch biceps at that. It's really hard to combine both of those. He said to be a good coach, run a business, and yeah. then also a good lifter. I think the best yeah. lifters, what you essentially have to do is shut off everything else. Much yeah. like you see old school bodybuilding, Arnold. What did Arnold do? The isolations. Yeah. yeah, he just did bodybuilding. Yeah, by you himself. Know? It's one hundred percent true. And so he gets his lifting in. Obviously, you can see he's jacked. But his number one priority is getting more lifters into the sport. He's a big uh, ambassador of all strength. He's actually going to do a powerlifting meet, which is cool. That's I don't cool. think he's ever done one. Um, and then, yeah, just getting people better and sharing knowledge. And that's why uh, I'm super thankful for him to coach me and, and uh, struggle through my horse shit. And I'd say a uh, shout out to guys like that that are trying to spread just the message of lifting to a greater audience. Because it's been this kind of slow come up. We've been, what, in the industry now, like yeah. eight years or uh, whatever. And it's changed dramatically. A lot of these oh, yeah, younger kids don't realize this. You don't realize life before flexible dieting and strength training and all those things. You don't know the BOSU ball days. You don't know what it's like. And I also think that people of that uh, older school, and this happens in other sports and it probably still happens in our sport, are think that their uh, secrets are hidden. They can't share it. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't want to talk about flexible dieting. I want them all to eat tilapia and yeah, die. Yeah. And not just my clients are going to eat Pop-Tarts and get shredded. There's secrecy always within any yeah. industry, right? R- rather than just has a little bit of a mystique to it, I think. I still think so too. Needs to be, uh, and I think maybe some powerlifters still hide some things, uh, and obviously bodybuilders have their secret peak week, and they don't want to tell anybody secret about it. Secret cycles and but, everything. Yeah. Uh, what kind of cycle? A lot of bicycles. <laughs> uh, whereas me, um, if you guys want to learn more from us, you we know, suck, so we're open. Well, you know, you know we have Kaizen, <laughs> and if you don't want to learn more from us, you can watch our YouTube, and if you don't want to watch us, you can go on. Fucking failing the maybe, whole time. Maybe uh, YouTube was just on autoplay and you stumbled upon this. You've been lost in your life looking for a solution and it's here staring you right in the face. Maybe my uh, clickbait and thumbnail were so damn good you guys just showed up and you don't even know who the hell's voices you're hearing right now. <laughs> A voice, a message from God. This honestly, I think this looks solid. like what are you? Uh, two months, three months in? Yeah, I'm probably two and a half months into powerlifting. Uh, a into lot less consistently than yeah, weightlifting. Dude, <laughs> powerlifting, wait, I'm a fucking rookie too. I, I think straight up uh, hook you, grip too. That's my yeah. most impressive part of myself. I think straight up you can uh, pretty much power clean almost right now. 140 kilos. So that's another thing. Yeah, yeah, Ben Ben's uh, huge on me doing the full movements because I'm so bad at them. Yeah. Uh, where he won't let me power because I'll get used to it and want to stay there. <laughs> Completely. No, I, I actually. Uh, 
from all accounts, what you described, what he has you do, I think it's really smart. And yeah. I, I'm excited, honestly, for your progress. Do you have any plans? We should almost do a weightlifting meet at the same time. So I don't know if have you heard, heard oh, no. what but I've been... Uh, Are you registered? Uh, no, but I challenged one Meg Squats. Oh, Meg, Meg Squats. To a weightlifting uh, challenge, and I don't know if you want in on this challenge. Oh, what do uh, we got to do? Uh, it's just weightlifting uh, best total. Yeah, absolutely. You know You're what? In. I will... Uh, Me, Salah Mike, Omar Esau. Salah Mike. My and only stipulation squats. for that is I gotta bring my motherfucking coach Clarence Kennedy to represent in my corner. As him, long as he doesn't lift the weight, he, yeah, dude, he can. Come. No, that's he's my Mr. Fucking Mr. Miyagi, bro. Yeah. I don't do well. I like I break my leg on the first one. He does that thing in the movie where he goes like that. Yeah, rubs his hands, it. dude. And if I fail, if what are you I, gonna crane yeah. kick a oh, snatch? Dude, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna crane kick the fuck out of someone. <laughs> out of Megs. Yeah, <laughs> or Megs get right Meg, in the jaw. You're, you're a goner. Sorry, bro. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we do appreciate you. More footage on the way with Alberto and not our voices and not my ugly ass lifting. Hey, like this video though. If you like these training videos, if you like these voiceovers, leave a comment below what you want to see next. Appreciate you guys. Everyone's information's below and we're out of here. Peace.